I was watching this Netflix documentary about these people that have a mental illness called body dysmorphia. And what that is, is these perfectly fine, normal looking people, their brain tells them that they are extremely unattractive. Like, can you imagine finding out that you don't have body dysmorphia? You're like, doctor, every time I look in the mirror, I see something hideous. Do I need medication? No, you're good. You are just butt ugly. I almost screamed when you walked in here. The good news is you have perfect 2020 vision. Your mirror is crystal clear. You don't need Windex or anything. That thing doesn't have a single crack. Being a comedian's a weird job. You know what else is a weird job? Being a beekeeper. Like, how, how do you even get into that? I googled it because I have no life. And uh, I actually saw ads for local beekeepers. One guy had a one-star review. Who posted that? His neighbors? I hate him! Every time I leave the house, I'm getting stung by bees! I can barely type this review! My hands are so swollen! He needs to keep them things in his yard! These bees is unruly! Like, how do you become a beekeeper? I actually googled it. And they, <laughs> I actually Googled it, and they say the top 11 things you need to think. I actually Googled how to become a beekeeper, and this article came up. It said the top 10 things you need to think about before you become a beekeeper. Number one was, are you afraid of bees? Uh, what? First of all, if you're afraid of bees, why would you become a beekeeper? <laughs> Eric, are you ready to go outside and keep the bees? Ah, ah, I'll be, I'll be right out. I'll be right out. Are the bees angry today? Oh, they look like they buzzing around. All frantic like. I'm just going to stay in here. I'll observe you keeping the bees. I'll do it tomorrow. Eric, can you go outside and get the honey? Sure. Ah, 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 gee, ah, I hate this job. Ah, get these bees away from me. That's like someone who can't swim trying to be a lifeguard. Help me, I'm drowning. Okay. Ah! Help me too, I'm drowning as well. That's like someone who's scared of heights getting a job operating a hot air balloon. Hey man, can we go any higher off the ground? We're only like 11 inches up. We're fine. That's You can see plenty from here. Look at them ants. Look how small they look. The other thing on the top 10 thing list said, make sure you're not allergic to bees. Who is allergic to bees becoming a beekeeper? Hey, I'm here for my first day. Ah! Comedy is a weird job. I actually tried out for America's Got Talent and I didn't get on the show and they sent me an email. They were like, hey, we regret to inform you you're not gonna be on the show, but the good news is we're gonna offer you two free tickets to come to a live taping. Well, thanks. Why would I want to go to a live taping of America's Got Talent when I'm not on the show? That's like if you don't win the lottery. They're like, yeah, but that guy won. But hey, good news. You can go watch him spend his millions. Just go follow him around so you can see what dreams coming true looks like. He's about to buy a Maserati. Come on, gather round. Let's clap. Let's cheer him on. Oh, look! He's bought a $9 million bottle of wine. Can I get you some tap water? Okay, go home and sleep on your air mattress. That's like going to Disney World and like, ah, well, the bad news is we're sold out, but the good news is you can look at that monitor and see people having fun on the rides. Look, they're on Space Mountain. Look how happy they are. Whee! Isn't this great? Let's cheer them on. As I was driving to Texas, I saw a billboard. It said, where are you going to spend eternity? Heaven or hell? And at the bottom of the billboard, they had a phone number you could call. I'm like, what? Do they know? I call up, hey, this is Eric Myers. Uh, yeah, okay. You're going to go to hell. All right, thanks. Bye. Wait, hello? Wait, what? Is that it?
Is there anything I can do? That'd be hilarious if you called and they put you on hold. It'd be even funnier if they played like music while you're waiting. Thanks for calling heaven or hell. Hold please. Burn baby burn. Disco Inferno. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I'm on the highway to hell. I also saw a split billboard. One half said, repent, the end is near. The other half said, Chili's. I was like, uh, does Chili's know they're next to an ad for the apocalypse? Do people driving by know this is a split billboard? Or do they just think something's horribly wrong with this Chili's? Repent, the end is near at Chili's. You need to beg for forgiveness before you eat these fajitas. This is gonna be your last appetizers. We got this chicken at the circus. You better get right with God before you munch on this shit. I also saw a billboard for an injury lawyer. He said, if you've been hit by a big rig, call now. Uh, I'm not sure this is the best audience to go after. Probably because those people are dead. The ad should say, do you know someone who got hit by a big rig? Put them in a bucket and bring them into the office. Here's Tom's foot and eye. Oh yeah, that looks bad. We're gonna get millions for this. Get it out of here, I'm gonna throw up. Do you know koalas sleep 23 hours a day? They sleep 23 hours a day because they eat these eucalyptus leaves and that's how long it takes them to digest. Is there a lazy koala? He sleeps like 23 and a half hours a day. Like, Tom, what are you doing? We've been eating eucalyptus leaves for 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I just, uh, my alarm didn't go off. All right, let's hurry this up. I gotta be back asleep in 26 minutes. I am exhausted. This eating these leaves is wearing me out.